Hi guys, welcome to Dyke Trick Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Lexica Free Unlimited. Lexica Aperture Model Tutorial. It's a step by step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now we're going to be talking about Lexica.art. It is a very unique, one of a kind, free image generator, and we're going to show you why. First things first, as you can see here right now in the home page, you will be able to see this search bar over here. Now you're wondering what is a search bar doing in an image generator. Now this is very useful for a lot of people, especially for those who are looking for specific type of image and aren't really getting the image they want from their generation. So for example, let's say, let's search for Persian cat. And when you search for Persian cat and when you click on search, it will literally show you all the different outputs of different users with this specific topic, with this specific text or keyword in their prop and you will be able to see all the different outputs from different users as you can see here which is absolutely very useful for looking for a specific image that you're trying to find and this is just an example let's search for another one let's say giant king and let's click on search and you will be able to see once again images that has this specific keyword and you can see the different outputs over here this is from different users and it is generated by different types of people the best thing about this ai generation is it is absolutely for free so you will be able to generate also as much as you want now although it is not as amazing as midjourney or blue willow it's still very unique and has a lot of potential in the future to be able to be one of the best AI generation image out there and for example let's search for one more thing uh, let's say a tiger with wings and uh, let's click on search and let's see what will our output be and there we go you will be able to see all the different outputs generated by other people although some won't really show you the best outputs but as you can see this one looks really great over here it's a mix of a bird like an eagle in a tiger's body which is also great and you can also do the same thing with an image you could literally search for an image over here and you will be able to see similar outputs in this search bar over here now this is just a bonus or like an additional feature of lexica of course lexica is an ai image generator so let's check out the generation let's simply click on generate over here and over here we will be redirected to this page this is where we will be able to generate different outputs as you can see here and in this section, this is very basic, you will be able to type in your prompt that you would like to see for your output and then a negative prompt over here. If you're not familiar, a negative prompt is basically a key thing that you would like not to see in an element. For example, we have this design over here and we don't like to see the color violet and it will try and not add any violet to that image on the next generation. That is how negative prop work. And you can see here in this example, over here, this is a generation that I have created and it has some orange patches over here, uh, orange color. And I regenerated the same output and I asked Lexica to have a negative prop, which is an orange color. And now as you can see here in the second batch, it no longer has the orange color that we had on the first batch over here. And over here also on the right side, you can see the dimensions of your image that will be generating. You have your dimensions over here. You can see like a preview of the size. So you do that. And advanced settings over here as well. Right now the model type is Aperture. There's Aperture version 2. Right now we're using the version 3 which is a higher version. And there's also guidance scale over here. Guidance scale basically means that the higher level this is, the more it will follow the description of your image. And you can also see your history over here, like what I was doing earlier. Basically, the history of the different generation that you have done before. So, you can also upload image over here, and it will use it as a basis for your different output. So, let's try our output for today. You can go to the home page once again, and you will be able to see the different outputs over here. So, what we can do is we can check out a style that we like. For example, this one over here. I can simply open this and I could copy the prompt as you can see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the prompt and I'm going to go back to our generation and we could paste it over here. 
that is one of my tips on generating amazing images. Simply look at the whole page or any top leaderboards output out there. It is not limited to Lexica and look through the different leaderboards or the best outputs generated. And you can copy the prop that they have used and you can edit it and make it different image or different props to customize it. So let's see. Let's generate this and let's see if we will be able to generate a similar image. And then we're going to try and upload a reference image. Now, while waiting for this to finish, let's go ahead and open our website over here. Pexels is an amazing website where we can get free stock photos, royalty free image and videos shared by creators. And we could use this as a basis for our outputs. For example, this person over here, I could open this and I will be able to download this photo that we could use in Lexica. Click our free download over here and we will be able to download it. Simply give it some time. And there we go, it's currently downloading and let's go back to Lexica. And as you can see here also, this is the output generated by Lexica. Absolutely stunning, it has really amazing graphics, amazing style and it has an amazing model as well as you can see here. And let's try and edit our prop. Let's remove the American or African goddess over here. Let's remove that and let's add our image over here. Let's simply select the image that we have just downloaded from Pexels. And uh, let's generate and now we will be able to see this style but this image as its basis so you could use like referencing image with lexica and uh, let's see the output and uh, let's compare it with original prop over here and our version 2 and as you can see amazing we were able to replicate the posture and like the hairstyle it didn't it, it change the hairstyle but we were able to add the style that we had for the version 1 over here with version 2 as you can see here this is an amazing output over here this one was turned into a girl either way they are all amazing we were able to produce very good results let's go and look for one more before we end our video let's go and uh, see maybe an 8-bit pixel art over here let's copy this and let's go over here let's go to our generate section and let's generate it this time with this one and uh, let's see what will happen to our model over here if you like to turn it into a pixel art. So let's see. Actually, we should have edited our prop over here, but there we go. We were able to generate an amazing output. It's still very cool. It looks very nice. I really like the design. We were able to generate a pixel art of a robot or rather a person. It's not really a robot, but actually let's see. Let's generate a pixel art instead of a robot and uh, generate. And let's see the different output and unfortunately we cannot generate any more outputs right now but these are the different outputs that we have created and that is how you will be able to use Lexica. Hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching